Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you from the rather brisk Menasha, Wisconsin. Are you guys feeling the effects of fall? It's just the beginning of September and already it feels so fall-like. The trees are starting to turn here. It's going to be a beautiful color show. So I have some beautiful color for you today. This is an oldie but goodie. This card layout is called a center step card. Look at that. Isn't that fun? This goes right in an envelope and it has a big wow. Now, don't run away yet. Don't let this scare you. This is pretty simple and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is so you can make some of your own. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the cardstock layers. I've got a piece of elegant eggplant that's five and a half by eight and a half, just a scrap of basic black, another piece of elegant eggplant, and this piece is three and three quarters by three and a half, a piece of designer series paper that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter square, a scrap of white, and that really is a scrap, huh? I got that cut out. And then we're gonna use this little tree, and this is printed on designer series paper. So this is the back of our striped layer. And let me show you this whole sheet. Isn't that fun? Well, it actually goes this way. <laughs> Isn't that fun? All you do is just cut out these little pieces, and they're approximately three and an eighth by three and an eighth. So I took mine and cut it down to three by three. I've got a piece of Whisper White here that's for our little um, greeting on the front, and this is half inch by three and a quarter. A layer that goes behind that of the striped paper again that is three quarters by three and a half. And then two more pieces of designer series paper out of the Spooky Night pack. These are each four by three and three quarters. You need two of those. And let me let me show you this. So we've got this fun cat paper and our cat punch fits directly in to this cat paper to punch these cats out. So that's really fun, right? The cat paper, we've got some cool polka dots, some witches hats, a nice design. Here's the tree and the striped background. Look at these pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns I should say. Well some of them are pumpkins, some of them are jack-o'-lanterns. Jack Aren't those cute? Some polka dot and vanilla these little potion bottles, and again, a cool design, some striped paper, and this one has trick-or-treat, happy Halloween, spooky, boo, no tricks, just treats, all kinds of words written all over it that's really fun too. This paper is shown on page 53 in the Holiday Mini Catalog, and you get two of each design sheet for $11. It comes in 12 by 12, so this is a really fun paper. I've been using it a lot. Okay, let's get started here. Okay, I'm gonna bring my paper trimmer in here in a pencil. We need to do some cutting lines and also some scoring lines. So we need to do two cut marks from approximately two and a quarter inches down to seven and a quarter inches. So I need to mark those so I know where to cut them. And I'm gonna start, right, I'm just using my paper cutter as a ruler. Here's my cutting channel and I need to start at approximately two and a quarter and end at seven and a quarter. So I'm gonna put my cardstock in here at one inch because we're gonna cut one inch in from this side and one inch in from this side. Bring in my cutting blade and I made a little mark right here. You might not be able to see it, but I can. You can also use the ruler right here, which I kind of forgot about. With your paper at the one inch mark, you're going to cut, and I've got this right at two and a quarter, and I'm going to cut this down to seven and a quarter, right here. So I'm gonna bring my cutting blade right to there. Now I'm gonna pick this up, and I am going to turn it over. So again, I'm gonna put my paper in up to one inch, I'm going to leave my cutting blade right here on seven and a quarter because that's where we need to end, right? So why go back up to the top? We can do it from the bottom up. And I'm going to cut up to two and a quarter, which is right here. So 
that's what we have. Two slit marks that start at two and a quarter, one inch in from each side, and end at seven and a quarter. All right, now we have to do our scoring. We're going to move that cutting blade out of the way. First of all, we're going to score at four and a quarter across the whole card. So let's just get that out of the way. And that's where our card is just going to fold in half. So we know what we need to do there. Now we're going to go back up to this score, this cutting line that was two and a quarter inches down. So move your paper over to two and a quarter here. And we're going to just score in between those cut lines that we made, those slits that we put in our card. So from here to here. Now we're going to go to five and a quarter and do the same thing, just score in the middle between the cut lines. Six and a quarter and then seven and a quarter, which is the end of our cut lines, right? There we go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now we're going to just fold. I'm just going to fold my card in half. So do that first. We're going to fold it in half and burnish it. And now this fold line that's at the top, that actually gets pressed down. Then this next one gets pressed up and down. So you're kind of doing an accordion thing here. And once you cut and score your card, you'll be able to easily see this. And now we're just going to burnish all of these folds. And I see I have some little shavings here from where I cut that. Just kind of pull those off. That'll be fine. Okay, so here's our card. Kind of makes a W in there. Does that make sense? All right, time to decorate. The fun part. I am going to bring in my paper piercing mat. I like to stamp on that, especially with um, photopolymer stamps. And I'm using the Spooky Cat stamp set. And I already showed you the Cat Punch. You can buy this together in a bundle and save 10%. And here we go. First of all, our scrap of white. With our scrap of white, I am going to stamp the witch's hat. Make sure I get that inked up good, okay? And then, here comes my paper snips. I left this little um, cobweb in the corner of the witch's hat on here, but I cut off the spider at the top. And that's just a nice way of being able to cut things out. You're like, oh, I can't cut this out because how? what's that gonna look like, that little spider web and that spider? Well, I'll tell you. as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't look too good when you cut it out. <laughs> to each his own. So I just cut it off and you can do that with any image that's got something, you know, this bold that's great for cutting out, but then it's got something too delicate to cut out. And this really is easy. This hat is really easy to cut out. So I know you guys are going to be able to handle this. There we go. There's our little hat. Now another thing that's really cool in the stamp set, this buckle it's got a stamp that matches it. So I'm going to just stamp that in pumpkin pie. There we go, perfect. And next I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna bring in our tree piece and I'm gonna grab my owl. I chose smoky slate for my owl. And I'm just gonna stamp my owl. There's two little arrows or upside down V's for the feet. And I just want to make sure that my feet are touching the branch. Perfect. Okay, then you've got this overlay. So this is a two-step stamping process. You've got the eyes and then happy Owloween. And I'm going to use my Memento Black for that and stamp right over this. There we go. Cool. One more two-step stamping process. This weird stamp that's in here, this is the beak and the little feet for your owl. I'm gonna do that in pumpkin pie. There we go. Okay, this piece is ready to roll. We have just a little bit more stamping to do. I've got trick or treat here and I'm gonna use the pumpkin pie for that. I'm gonna stamp this on my half inch by three and a quarter inch layer. 
There we go. And then I'm going to clean off my owl stamp here because I want to do something really cute with it. I'm going to stamp those eyes, only the eyes, and I see I got a little bit on my H, so hang tight there. Let me wipe that off. This is just a good way to do this if you only want to use part of an image. I've got my eyes, and I thought they would look really cute, well, for Pete's sakes, on the ends of my little banner. That's pretty spooky, right? <laughs> All right, I think we're done stamping. Now we're going to assemble. I'm gonna put some glue. I like the multi-purpose liquid glue. It's my favorite adhesive until you stick your finger in it. I'll wipe that off because otherwise everything will stick to me. I'm gonna layer this on our piece of designer series paper. This is just a quarter inch bigger than our banner. So that's cute, right? And then my owl gets layered onto this designer series paper that goes right in the middle and then you're going to find that this elegant eggplant piece is a little bit it's not perfectly square so you're going to just use the top and the left and right sides to add this layer to so there's going to be a little bit more of a margin down here, and that won't matter. So just trust me on that. Here comes my black scrap, and I'm going to punch out one of my spooky cats. Are you guys ready now? We're ready to put this together. How simple was this? All right, here comes our card. We're going to go right in the middle with our greeting. So I actually had this design in my head, and I'm doing my video backwards. I haven't actually made this card prior to this. So I had the design in my head, I cut out all the layers, and I'm just for the first time making this card. So I'm getting to see it for the first time too. Okay, I'm just putting glue on this layer in here. You don't want glue up here on the back. And you're just gonna set that right down in there. I'm actually going to make mine pull up just a little bit so it's even with the top of my card when it's closed. Does that make sense? Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Now I'm going to put these strips on the front of my center step card just to jazz it up a little bit. And I love using designer series paper for these kinds of cards because everything coordinates. All the different patterns, in, especially in this pack, coordinate with each other. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Hi, I'm so excited. Okay, where's my cat going? I'm gonna just put some glue on the bottom of my cat right here, and I'm gonna tuck that right in the second step. And I'm gonna move it off to the side a little bit so it's not covering up my owl. How does that look? Pretty cool, right? Yay! And then my little hat, I'm gonna put right over here. And that's just kind of a fun little element to add to my card. What do you guys think? Is this cute? You saw how easy it was, honestly. Super, super simple. This folds right up and it goes right into an envelope. And speaking of envelopes, I'm going to bring mine in here, and we are going to stamp something really cute on our envelope. This is another stamp that comes in the Spooky Cat stamp set, and I am going to do a Spooky Cat right in my envelope. Isn't that cute? Love it. All right, stampers. There we go. Cute, cute. You could also use a vanilla envelope, and I didn't really think about it, but I might <laughs> use vanilla for this layer too, you guys. Sorry, it just didn't even dawn on me. Um, vanilla would be a better choice here because the background in this paper is vanilla, but I think it looks fine. And um, now the more I look at it, I might rip it apart. I might peel this right off and just redo that piece. But 
there you go. That's what happens when you don't make a sample first. I just kind of was winging it today. Center step card. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you make some of these. As you saw, this is very, very simple. Now, one more thing. Where do you write? Well, you can put a panel back here of white or vanilla and write on that, or you can just write on this whole piece right here. Another neat idea is when you put this layer onto your card base, only glue around the outside here, and you will have a pocket, if it's like for a birthday card or Christmas card, a pocket where you can slide money or a gift card in there. So that's another nifty idea. Thanks so much for stamping with me today. And you know, if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp um, If you don't have a demonstrator and you need the current catalogs, the holiday mini catalog is amazing. And if you don't have it, you need it. Oh, look, I broke my nail. Dang it. Oh, anyways, <laughs> enough about me. <laughs> um, pop me an email. I'd be happy to send you the, the catalogs. If you're a stamper, you really do need them. There's a gazillion card ideas, scrapbooking ideas in them. They're great idea books. But here is one great Halloween card, and it is time to start making those. So if you don't have this bundle yet, Spooky Cat with the Spooky Cat Punch, and you don't have a demonstrator, hop on over to my blog. There's an order now button on there and you can order this bundle. Super simple and I really appreciate your business. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again, bye-bye.